But one one thing I want to tell you before I go with this ship into battle. If you have Gunther Luthiens, you can trigger him every battle with this ship. You get 7.5% better reload as well. Add AR on top of it. And you can have like 17, second re uh, 17 seconds or something on the guns. It's insane. It's absolute insanity. I haven't even had Luthiens on it because I don't think it triggers on test trips, but yeah. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. The only bad thing it has, <clears throat> and I'm not smoking, the only bad thing about the ship are the firing angles. That's it. The only bad thing about the ship is the firing angles. If you want to show through, if you want to shoot through broadside, that's it. We gotta play it a lot because it's actually amazing. I just need to put this. So what's now 22 seconds? It would be 23. A good ship under German flag? Oh yeah. I mean Schlieffen is also pretty strong, but yeah. Hey Skyline. It does look super satisfying with the 16 guns. Let's go. Let's go. GK angles? Nah, I think they're worse. They're even worse. Look, these are the angles. They're really bad. They are really bad, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Also, one more thing. This is basically Fredita Grosso Hall. And if you know, Fredita Grosso tends to eat citadels if you turn. This is not the case here, because this ship lays lower in the water. Armor, furniture grows <laughs> in better, pretty much. <laughs> the accuracy is really kind of nutty. No joke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Too much lead. Bro, if you're a cruiser player, or if you're a DD, I'm not joking. You don't want to get caught by this ship. I'm not joking. I'm not joking at all. Battleships? Sure, not the best panning power, but... <laughs> I mean... I love this ship, I really do. I think it's a bit over the top though. This thing has accuracy like no one's business. I'm like. Look at that Friesland. You see that Friesland player? Come on, do it. Do it, be greedy, kill that submarine. Do it. We can actually switch to HE real quick. Because why not? Okay, he's not coming around the corner. Too bad. Is he? Nah, come on, bro. Be ballsy. <clears throat> Also, 27% um, fire chance is not bad either, if you think about it. If you really... The only downside you have, have is you can't overmatch cruises. I mean, besides a mine or something. That's the only downside of the ship. 
But it doesn't matter because you can farm them with HE. You get the quarter pen after all. Don't remember that, so you literally pen every cruiser. See that dude? We're just gonna shoot him with HE now. If he's ever gonna be spotted again. Which might not be the case. The good thing about the ship is, I don't think it's gonna get nerfed really fast because people will play it like a secondary ship and just YOLO into their death. <clears throat> That's what I think is gonna be the fate of this ship. People will play it a bit like they shouldn't, and yeah. Oh, Friedrich Grossa, how are you doing, my friend? <laughs> oh. It's gun to feel like a shotgun. I don't know where, in which world you live, but this is one of the most accurate shotguns I've ever seen. This was like really first bad salvo. And even that salvo is gonna score something. 9k, I'll take it. I mean, these guns are more for slapping cruisers and DDs. That they do battleships 10k is perfectly fine. Is this for steel? Yeah, this is gonna be for steel. 31,000 with the next patch. <clears throat> the only thing that's gonna change is it's gonna have one second burst reload. But let's be honest, that's perfectly fine that change, honestly. We're just gonna buff our AR a bit, shall we? Look at this. 16k. 12, 11k. <laughs> oh man. I can't even go for a superstructure now. Look at this. <laughs> My gosh, what have you created? By the way, I'm showing on purpose broadside because we want to buff our AR a bit. This ship is plain stupid. No, it's amazing! <laughs> I love battleships and this is one of the battleships I ever dreamed of. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's, it's too strong. It's way too strong. I think it's way too strong. But I'll take it. No, you have to be forced <coughs> to take uh, FA. You cannot have Hydro. That's the only downside. <laughs> and I, I need to give it to that as well. You need to know what you're doing. If you're the average Joe, you will die in it super fast. It's not the typical ah, uh, must push everything, secondary blistering thing. I'm gonna go for that uh, Thunderer. Lambas will like it. I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. Lambas hates incomparable. Which I don't understand, but each though. <clears throat> this thing though. We should be able to sit at this range, right? I 
maybe not. I don't know. I just want to show a bit of broad snipe. I want to want to see when I'm gonna get completely stomped. Remember, we're in the cyclone as well. If if the dispersion is a bit worse or better now, most likely because of the cyclone. Come on, try to sit me. Problem gelöst. In case you're wondering why I so much broadside, it's on purpose, chat. Believe it or not, I want to buff my AR. What's our reload now? 19.8. He's not showing for broadside, we can't set it on. We're in a cyclone, we're still landing our shots pretty damn darn well. What's our hard reload now? 19 seconds. Okay, let's actually turn in. The game is actually getting a bit close, and we're gonna play it safer now. He should be dead. There we go. Hey Cavalier. Firing angles are as bad as GK, and that's a, good, that's a good thing on this ship. Imagine this thing had super good firing angles, rip. <coughs> If we like, I can play Smack the good, good for us. It's a different playstyle, but it's it's a fantastic ship. I mean, let's be honest. Is there one person who really thinks this is a bad ship? In a way, if, when it comes to power. From what you've seen now, from the first battle already, do you really think this is a bad ship? Is there any person that thinks that it's a bad ship? No Hydro, oh, of course, that, that, oh, that was the irony, never mind. For a second I thought he meant like serious, he said no Hydro, I'm like, oh, fair point, it doesn't have a Hydro. It is more maneuverable though than other ships. It has low HP 4010. That's also a fair point, yeah. Not bad, that's a fair point. How much is Leafen again? 72, right? I can't think of someone who thinks it's inherently underpowered, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that dude would agree though. Simply because this thing is actually A. How's the consumer 13.9? That's average on tier 10 BBs. Not a good value, not a particularly bad one. Twenty 22 km range is more than enough. I, I do think so as well, yeah. Actual damage on BBs, even on long range, is perfectly fine. I'm waiting for the dude that says Azuma can angle it against it. It must be a weak ship. Come on. Come on, Azuma player. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, he's not doing it. Then we're gonna go for it. I'm, I'm gonna show full broadside real quick for the Republic because I need to turn down here. Can we survive, survive, survive the Republic Salvo? We can, beautiful. Problem gelöst. Remember, I lost a lot of HP against the Thunder on purpose. <laughs> <coughs> Klärungs 
Flugzeug in der Luft. Come on, Freddy Slump, big greedy. Not a bad hit by the Republic player. Throwing a bit too much broadside here it was a mistake. I love to shoot HE on the Republic just to see. So wild. Come on, Friesland player, get greedy. Open up. Oh, he is. He is. He is. He is. Oh, no, no, no. He's gonna kill me before. Ah, too bad. I shouldn't have wasted my HP against the Thunder at the beginning, but that's fine. I didn't expect that we that the game is going to be so close. <clears throat> but you see, that was actually a smart way when he engaged me. I give him that. But you see, Chad, this thing is absolutely nuts. I'll play it more, don't worry. I'll play it more. I wanna have a CV in the enemy team. I know I usually don't say that, but I actually want a CV against me. Also, style or Mecklenburg for you? I mean, it depends on you. You have a lot of battleships, I guess. It's really up to you what you want. I'll probably still go for Stalin because it's way cheaper, but it's up to you. Okay. Is Azuma worth my free XP? No, it's garbage. No, Jabberwock, no info on that. <clears throat> Actually, we might still win the game. No jokes. We might have done enough on our side and win the game. Let's see. Oh no, the Thunder shot AP, HE on that range. Let's see. Policeman could be toast if the Atago hits now. There's the submarine. Can the Atago dodge? That's the question. <laughs> nice glass, by the way. You can still win. Erlang can kill the sub, maybe, and talk to Republic, and it's still a GG. Actually, he just needs to kill the sub. That's it. <coughs> because of the time. <laughs> so, Mecklenburg or Incomparable? Oh, a tough question. Tough question. I can't tell you. I think Incomparable overall is still has more u utility, but I do love the Mecklenburg. I will get it, definitely. I think it's a fun ship. I really think it's a fun ship. Should I get Ohio or Mecklenburg? Uh, both are great. I can't... I, I mean, I think this ship is just... Amazing. That's what I can say. I cannot really compare it to other powerhouses. Oh my god, is the sub throwing? The sub might actually be throwing. That dude just took way too long. Oh my god, don't eat those two herbs. Never mind. <clears throat> the 
strategy. <laughs> Let's do it a bit more tryhardy now. Whatever ships came out of NDA, uh, Marseille for example, we're gonna play that as well. How will it be available? This ship is gonna be available for 31,000 steel next patch. Nice map rotation. <clears throat> Well, we got a CV. Problem is, it's Nachimov, the one that strikes out of a A range. <clears throat> Trackman is inherently over underpowered, yeah. Let's go. Mecklenburg, yeah. <clears throat> I want to write, I can cock the CV, but I meant cook, actually. You know what's funny? Since we have quarter pen, we can actually pen Nachimov's deck with HG. In That's what I hate about the Nachimov. Look at that immunity. This is why it's not working against that CB as good as against other ones. But the A is no joke. No Hydro? Nope. <laughs> yes! Absolutely worth it already. That shot Ooh. was without lock on. How spectacular book, amazing. Macrela for just it's an amazing subscribed. Shot. Love it. Trendler, hello Thea. Macrela, thank you for 10 mums. Welcome back, my dude. How are you doing? How are you doing, my friends? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Push a bit up, we wanna have some fun. <laughs> you can clearly see that Ogma hates that name. <laughs> what caliber? Neo Fives. Is that a range mod Harugumo? That is not a range mod Harugumo, never mind. Mistakes were made, Mr. Moskva. You're dead. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, 
You don't want to show bros, that's the truth. You can't. You just can't in this shit. You die. That how Rugumo play is pretty ballsy. He's gonna play it with a hefty price though. Oh yeah. He's getting Immamund already. <coughs> I see the Monty shields coming from here, the Mori chat. Can I actually lock over here? I can. I gotta wait here. Oh, we don't see him anymore. Balao, get your butt up here. Come on. Oh my god, that Balao played. I'm spotted by the daring constantly, by the way. Feels so good, man. Oh, we can't pop over here. Let's go. Highest AP DPM for... It could actually be, but you... Battleships... Uh, you should not look at the battleship for DPM. Battleships are all about alpha. The alpha is also pretty nutty. I mean, 16 guns with 9.4k citadel damage. <coughs> it's a pretty good wally. How's the ship? Amazing. Torpedoes are back both. I mean, look at that accuracy. Hey, bro. How are you doing? Turned a bit too far away, though. There's still Harugumo here. Gotta watch out about that. Is it worth the steal? In my opinion, yes. Definitely. Fire alarm! Doesn't change that this is one of those frustrating games right now where nobody's doing anything regarding spotting whatsoever. But you can always have that. Holland. <laughs> oh no, poor Harugumo. I don't think Harugumo launched torps towards me. <clears throat> For the simple fact that he was nose away from me. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho yes! 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 No, don't let him turn too much. No! No way! Sad. You can also shoot DDs quite comfortable with it, which I like. I mean, DD players won't like, that's for sure. Why did my A not do anything? Why was it off? I guess I did make a little mistake there, but he's gonna pay the price at least. Sorry for that, I had my A offline actually. I do love the, 
the Magnum as well. I think it's an amazing ship. There's just too much I need to handle here right now, chat. No, there's nothing in common with a Schlieffen. It's not a secondary ship. It's more like an ultimate sniper, which can just deal with every kind of threat. Remember when the Cyclone now saw this version is a bit more wonky. But that's perfectly fine, because our reload will compensate for it. This version is absolutely amazing on the ship. It's pure love, but we're in a thunderstorm front right now, <coughs> so it lags a bit. Mannschaften in voller Alarmbereitschaft. So stupid that you went for him. Yeah, 32. Basic battleship. Classic battleship, boys. Maybe it will be fire starter? Nah, it can. Yeah, I mean, it can. Do pretty well if somebody goes nose in you can farm with fires as well that's true <coughs> but the ap is not bad at all that's the thing ap is not bad at all i think there's still a submarine behind us somewhere Deal, right? Yeah. I'm gonna play one more afterwards, and then we're gonna play some Massey as well. Taking out the other boys. I mean, look at this. Look at that dispersion. Not enough lead. Okay. Well, too bad. Let's try AG. <laughs> there would there would have been AG, right? Good example. Let's see what the HA can do. Oh, there's the submarine now. Torpedos Achterhaus! Torpedos Achterhaus! Torpedos auf Backbord! Torpedos direkt voraus! The daring torpedoes of backboard. Man, we're getting constantly squeezed between all these dudes. Torpedoes after time. Torpedoes after us. Come on, be a li little greedy submarine player now. I think there was enough lead. Daring is there. Got to turn in towards us up. Got a flooding on the sub right? Come on, Kaba, you can do it. Got to turn against Daring again. 
<coughs> Kaba needs to do it on his own. He should be fine with dealing with the sub. Test it, my friend. That's why you don't want to get spotted as a DD. <laughs> and now that 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 thing is just <laughs> the accuracy is just yikes. And I think we got this up. I think he's gonna die. Right? Come on. Even in a battle like this, which was kind of frustrating to play because they were constantly running from us, we managed to pull something like this. And I think this is, for what we had to deal with, a decent result. Let's be honest, for what how we had to play, I think this was a really decent result. I don't know about you. Try to have a secondary build, not worth it bro, not worth it. You don't have the Hydro? And you don't get any special things. It's like just a standard battleship, uh, secondary special uh, sp German secondary ship. But you just want to buff the guns as po as much as possible. Like that seven percent accuracy buff in the third slot makes these guns so much better. Daring is low. I smack them for eleven k. Round about eleven k. I don't know, right, Chat? We just. Cut them in half, I guess. <laughs> that was a classic Sh Shima gameplay, in a nutshell. You need to see like this, Chris. <clears throat> How much, and this is why I don't think a secondary build is a good choice on the ship. How much? How much would secondary help me this battle? Effectively. I got two se secondary hits. Which would probably be maybe 10 or something. Like, how much would it really help me? I don't think it would really have been beneficial. Yeah, maybe against the submarine a bit faster or something, but then I need to click on him and everything, you know. Uh. Oh, damn. That Shimon got five kills. Good job, Fro guy. Plus one. Yeah, weil du nicht reingefahren bist. Ja, aber wenn ich reinfahre, sterbe ich. That's the thing. Why, why, why should I drive with the battleship into a position where I just die in this game? They were all kiting away. If I, if I push too much, I'm dead. That's what people don't understand a lot of times. Yeah, you get better secondaries. But in this ship, without Hydro, Submarines and all that stuff against me, it's just suicidal. I'd rather have more working main guns. That's the thing. And look. Great. I'll upload both games uh, in a row so you see both sides. Like the first one and this one. It's gonna be a longer video. But 
it's amazing. Only thing that's changing, as I said, it's gonna have one second longer reload. We're gonna go for one last one, and then we're gonna switch to Masayan. 